Trying to catch a fox. Was a red fox. Well, I don't know if they was catching it. What were they doing? Kelly was, and their husband were there. He was chasing after it when we went by. With a net or something? No, he was talking to it. <laughs> Who was talking to it? Bob. Hmm. He told me to stop. I stopped and then the thing went across the road. I Okay. Well, there were two of the SUVs and a cruiser. So that's our, our full uh, armada heading towards uh, it's training now. Road. <laughs> uh, are they all joining the fishing game? Good all right, six o'clock. Go oh, ahead with my glasses. That's okay though. Uh, we'll do call this. What's it? June? Yeah. Well, I wish we were March twenty fifth. Uh, <laughs> Rollins Road Select Board meeting to order, 6 o'clock. First order of business is community input. Community input. All right. Highway Department. Uh, let's put that on there just in case George came in. We have a non public personnel issue for police. Are we expecting the chief? I'm or? not expecting him. I don't think we. All right, well, until we'll the end then. Yeah. We're going to make people leave it to come right back and then leave it again. So, welfare also? Is that for non public personnel? It, okay. it is, yeah. Okay. Administration. Okay, so as you notice, uh, Denise is not able to be here again tonight. We expect her back in uh, a few weeks, I guess, uh, after she recovers. Um, so, in her stead, uh, we need to. Um, uh, the budget committee would like to meet, and so the um, ex officio is supposed to call the first meeting after the election, so they can elect a new chair. It could be the same chair. I don't care about that, but. Um, but we need to call it. So uh, I had been the second runner-up, I guess, for, uh, for for that. And I'm happy to do that, unless you have some burning desire to. Uh, nope, if you have. <clears throat> so we're going to call the first budget committee meeting for April 3rd, which is the next Wednesday, next Wednesday I guess. Um, for that. And then um, on April 5th, we have our first quarter of the department head meeting, which is that Friday, next Friday. I feel it's April already. Um, I feel like we're really rushing through now. We have, um, <laughs> clearly we have that meeting at 6.30 at the fire station, so it'll be a few minutes to get down there anyways. But um, Board member activities, do you have any updates for us, Miles? Um, anything last... Thursday, we had a stormwater committee meeting. Um, we continue to push forward with uh, figuring out what we need to do in year one. It's it's mostly about um, communication and uh, tracking okay. who gets communicated to. Um, Paul Kazalt, uh, Caroline, and myself are meeting tomorrow to hammer out. There's some confusion with the stormwater regs that were adopted by the planning board um, a few years ago. Does that ring a bell with you? Uh, it wasn't that many years ago, but yeah. Well, actually, it might have been. How many two, maybe two years ago? April of 17. Okay. Yeah, a couple years ago. Um, anyway, the ones we're... that our mate, the Fed, gave us? It was the state gave the state rather Suzanne gave us. language that right. she handed to the planning board and right. said, put this here. So what's the they... issue? That's where we put it with um, the state total supporter. Yeah. Yeah. It, I think Paul thinks they're out of date. So we just... We're just no, they may be, but that's because we <laughs> have the state for an update of one set. Um, we need to revisit. And we can bring that back to Stratford Regional or even the um, yeah. Office of um, OSI, um, Office of Strategic Initiatives, is that right? The planning, state planning people. And yeah, they changed their name, you're right. It's something like that now. Something yeah. like that. And, and we can see what they think. So we're not completely floating alone. We can have somebody in here as well. Did you get that box? We had to dispatch it, yes. <laughs> so, um, Killed it. anything else? Uh, How about an update on the ZBA? I did not make it to the ZBA meeting oh. um, last Tuesday. Um, the CBA meeting was really long and 
interesting and well attended by the abutters. Mm -hmm. um, they deliberated both sides of the issue. It was confusing for everyone in attendance. Um, the, the issue of non-conforming use and the expansion of non-conforming use and the extent to which um, case law seems to support the idea that that's allowed um, as long as it's generally within the same, you know, things can evolve over time as long as they're not really remarkably different. And that was kind of a surprise to learn since our zoning regulations do not allow an expansion of non-conforming use. So, uh, you know, the planning board's going to have to look at that going forward. But um, the, there, were two, there were two matters. The first was um, whether or not to uphold the um, administrative decision um, behind the letter Tom Clark sent out for cease and desist. Uh, they, they upheld that, um, which means essentially that towing is not um, an allowed use. They were trying to argue that um, trucking terminals are allowed and that the towing is akin to a trucking terminal. So um, they, they lost on that account. The second um, matter was um, a variance of the zoning ordinance. Um, would they, you know, given that towing is not allowed, would they allow towing? And um, they found that Towing really isn't remarkably different from trucking terminals, which are allowed in that district. And so they found it hard to argue against allowing it because it, it's hard to justify not allowing towing if you allow trucking terminals. And so they... How do they define trucking terminals? Well, they struggled with that for a long time. Um, and everybody came up with a different answer. Yeah, they still allow it under that? Well, our zoning ordinance allows trucking, so trucking terminals, and so, you know, one could argue, they try to argue, um, that towing is essentially a trucking of freight being cars, and so it's, it's not really much of an extension. So the ZPA struggled with that because they are really cognizant of the neighbor's concerns, which are valid, that there are... Um, things going on there, um, but they were, they kept their scope narrow, that they couldn't keep, um, they couldn't take into account things beyond whether or not to allow towing, and, and not so much about the specific um, behaviors and instances that are going on at that location. Can the planning work? So, um, they struggled with that, but they really wanted they were happy that it's going to planning. They really want planning to regulate it um, as much as planning can regulate it because they didn't really want to allow it. They just kind of felt like they had to. Okay. So he now has to go through site review? So he's now going to site review. Um, it also came up, we don't really have a policy or any kind of... Um, The junkyard ordinance, the, the junkyard license, rather, is, is still not issued. Mm -hmm. um, so for that reason, he, he has to continue on with planning. But it brought up the point for um, just in terms of process, how do we compel people to go directly from ZBA to planning in a timely manner? And, and so that's something that we should try to work into our rights somewhere. But in any case, um, we should see him in planning soon. Okay. So Tom Clark and I are working on things to consider. Um, we have the um, Municipal Association put out a, a really extensive booklet, although dated, uh, about junkyards. So we're reviewing that, and still, whether or not it happens right this minute, part of what we still need to do is adopt a junkyard ordinance, and Tom's looking into template ordinance and what kind of things should go into such an ordinance. But the Municipal Association re um, recommends that for any community that has even one junkyard. Okay. Not you anymore, it's you. All right, so... Little, uh, well, we've got time. So, things like um, hours of operation will be on the table. Yes, and really in screening and paving. Yes, 
all the things he's supposed to be doing under the Chunk Fair Agreement now. Yes. Somehow is going to be seeing license. Also, and a butter brought another one up to my attention, which is that towing requires that customers visit to pick up their cars, and mm -hmm. um, the planning board might consider um, restroom facilities for visitors because ADA compliance space at all. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, the chief is here, so we're going to go into non-public at the end. Do you have anything else besides the non-public for us? Um, well, I suppose we can wait till next week. Oh, we can do it. We just wait. We're just I have nothing to wait so Okay, so we're going to do that. Welfare. Um, and court, we have any correspondence that we need to go for tonight? Nope. Oh, no, never mind that. Please stay. Then oh. stay. <laughs> then you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> All right, so... Then my intention is to, um, actually, is there any other community input? We'll do that now. All right, my intention is to um, go into non-public session to deal with the personnel issue and then go to non-public for welfare. We'll be at the fire station by 6.30, so. All right, so there's a motion to go into non-public for personnel. I move we go into non-public session for a personnel issue. I'll second that. Vote for Yes. My guests are at a non-public session for personnel issue. 